What's up YouTube, Jeff back from Sammy Guru here and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about a big update that Samsung is pushing out to the Galaxy Buds controller app that basically gives you the interface between your Galaxy smartphone and your Galaxy Buds. This is an update that's specifically for One UI 8, so beta users and people who are using the early preview builds. I got this on my uh, Beta 2 US Unlocked S25 Ultra, but it is going to be coming to everybody, of course, when One UI 8 starts rolling out next month in July. So I want to give you guys a preview today uh, by going through and doing the setup on my Buds 3 Pro, and I'll show you guys how the old version looked on my S25 Edge, which doesn't have the update yet. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys, make sure you check out our website, sammyguru.com. Cover the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. Uh, we did cover this story over there. You can also tap on the orange banner at the top. You can get in our mystery box program. Uh, you'll be able to get a free case, cleaning kit, screen protector, desktop, phone stand. All you have to do is visit the link, tap on the phone you're interested in. We've got the Z Fold 7, the Z Flip 7, the Watch 8 series, as well as the S26 series. Tap on this. You're going to put in your phone number, your email, or both. Uh, we do cover the shipping costs and everything. You'll get a link on launch day to order through our affiliate link. That's how we pay for the shipping costs, as well as all the items in the box. It's a great deal. Let's us earn some revenue and also give back to you guys to give you guys a ton of accessories uh, for pre-ordering your brand new Samsung phone. So check that out in the pinned comment description if you guys are interested in that. Okay, so I am running the brand new version of the Galaxy Buds controller app. And let me just jump in. I took a screenshot of the update itself. I had a bunch of updates, but here's the one for Galaxy Buds controller, version 8.0.25.061651, June 20th, 2025, 45.78 megs. This is the update that I just took. Uh, and like I said, lots of updates. I took a lot of screenshots last night because Samsung rolled out a lot of updates to this One UI 8 device. So what I'm gonna do today is I have my beautiful Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. This is actually a new pair. I'm gonna go through the pairing process here uh, with my S25 Ultra with this new version and you guys can kind of see uh, the new interface. So first let's go ahead and connect it. Nothing really too new except you do see this additional blur changed a little bit. Um, you've got the pop-up, which also have this One UI 8 blur. So, you know, all these are elements we've already seen with the One UI 8 beta. Adaptive noise control, something we already know is on the buds. But again, you can see that beautiful blur from One UI 8 on there. You've also got earbud software update coming because, of course, these are new. Voice and siren detection, customized listening in different apps, and you're all set. So, of course, it's going to tell me that I have an earbud software update, which I guess I'll be able to go in here and take. Uh, because these are new, 7.86 megabytes update. Let me go ahead and update the earbuds so that way we can walk through all the features Galaxy Buds controller. You guys can see the brand new interface. All right, so now I paired up these brand new Buds 3 Pro. This is my second pair. I have a white pair as well. Um, one thing I want to say is that we've also noticed, and we wrote an article about this, some people have noticed that they cannot switch to their Buds once they actually... Uh, install this new update. And so you might not see the ability down here to switch from your ring, your watch, your buds. You see my Buds 3 Pro 2, this is my other buds, which I don't even have out. These ones are not showing up after I paired them. Now, if I go up to the plus sign, you see that they're listed in the paired devices. And what I've noticed is if you tap on it, it will then open up your new settings page. So this is the new settings page that we're talking about with One UI 8 and that this update brought. So you've got the buds at the top, you see the left and right, you see the case there. You see you've got the nice little you know percentages you can see here sound quality effects auto switched ambient sound you can change your various modes here active noise canceling adaptive voice control manage connections advanced features accessibility find my earbuds diagnostics listen to auracast broadcast with that brand new auracast pop-up that we talked about before in one ui8 uh, the earbud software update there's a couple of new tips here at the top quick control for earbuds um, by swiping from the top here by the swiping from the top of the screen touching and holding the volume slider which of course you can see this if you go into the buds here you can touch and hold this you'll see all of your various settings so they've added some of these tips and of course this one's been there for a while as well customized listening in different apps but those have been added to the tips about earbuds you can see here types here um, the battery information software information and then of course your software update. You guys saw I already took that software update out of the box because these were brand new. So they had an update that was waiting. They might even have another update. They don't, that's good. So you can see, anyway, this is the article I was talking about here where we talked about this bug with a wearable app. Once you install the new version, you may not be able to get your uh, manager for some of your various devices. So 
Once you connect your Buds 3 Pro to your S25 Ultra and you launch the Buds Manager interface, you might not be able to return for other devices like the watch, your ring, etc. It seems to happen. You can go in and try tapping on other devices. And the other thing you can do is you can try to unpair the Buds and then you'll be able to go back and get into your watch or ring or whatever else. It's possible that Samsung could be planning to take the Buds controller and the wearable app for the watch and the ring and separate those so that you actually have two separate applications. And that could be one of the reasons why this is happening. However, right now, it's still causing a lot of frustration because of course people don't know that's what they're gonna do. And uh, obviously getting kicked out of being able to manage your watch because you connected some Buds 3 Pro isn't great. But keep in mind, this is all in the One UI 8 beta and these test builds. So this is not in a stable build yet, but hopefully Samsung will fix it before it does get to a stable build. Well, I shot this video on Friday and then over the weekend, actually Sunday night, we noticed that there was a new update for the Galaxy wearable app. And it turns out Samsung has officially done exactly what I speculated earlier in this video. Galaxy wearable version 2.2.63 You will no longer have the buds controls inside the Galaxy wearable app. They'll be inside the Bluetooth settings, which I showed you earlier. So let me just show you really quickly. Once you get this Galaxy wearable thing, uh, this update, sorry, and then you go into the wearable application, you'll notice I've got my buds here. If I go into Galaxy Wearable, it's gonna give you a pop-up that tells you that the buds are no longer here. So if you go in here, you'll notice, if you see, they have no listing for the buds there. The buds there are not at all. Galaxy Buds can be added in Bluetooth settings. So if you go here, you'll now see my Buds 3 Pro and all those settings we talked about previously, and I showed you earlier right there, you will no longer have them in Galaxy Wearable at all once you get this update. And it will actually give you a pop-up if you like try to go in there and manage your buds. But you can see right there, my Galaxy Ring is still there. So Samsung has officially done this. They've officially removed buds from the wearable app. So you have your ring, you'll have your watch, but you will no longer have buds controls inside wearable. They'll be in the regular settings. And again, if you go in here, it says you can even add them in Bluetooth settings. It'll tell you that that's no longer done with the wearable app. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the mystery box. We should have the Galaxy Z Fold 7, Z Flip 7, Galaxy Watch 8 boxes and reservations going live very soon, so stay tuned to the website. Appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.